What's going on everybody? Ben back again for another video. So today we're going to be reacting to obviously the Halo series trailer. It is finally here. Man, um, <laughs> if I do say so myself, I am a pretty fucking avid Halo fan. Just like everybody else, I'm pretty sure. Whether you love it or quote unquote hate it, it was a very big part of our childhoods and we're finally getting the what ifs that we've asked ourselves for so many years and for so long. I am so excited to finally react to something that I have been pondering in my mind for so many years and it's so surreal that so many years later they're finally making a live action series that looks and sounds super promising. I'm really excited to get right into it. Um, in my childhood, I've broken down many times with with all of my brothers, um, playing multiple rounds of multiplayer, uh, capture the flag, free for alls, Forge World, even making own little uh, tournament settings ourselves. So, I'm really, really excited to get right into this. So, I am gonna take this off finally, and we're gonna get into some pretty fucking crazy shit. This is the Halo series coming to Paramount Plus in 2022. Bet you can't fucking stick it. Let's get it. Woo! I am super excited for all of this. Without further ado, this is the Halo 2022 series for Paramount Plus. Let's see what this is all about. I'm so excited. Pablo Schreiber is in the leading role of Master Chief. All right, let's get it. Ooh. You're special. Wow. In fact, yo, there he is. I'm counting on it. Wow. It looks great so far. We're lost in the dark. But you Give people hope. And I will always be with you. I see this. Oh! Yeah! Fucking Chief! Let's get it! Yes! Oh! He looks so fucking good! <laughs> oh my god oh my god dude it's so fucking surreal I like a lot of other people you know growing up and playing the first Halo game I know that it wasn't really received really well just because it was very new to you know the beginning generations of the first Xbox and you know everything was going into a brand new um, direction and some things, you know, had high expectations that ultimately didn't go well. And, you know, it started getting really good with the revamp of Halo 2. Halo 3 is probably the last game that I have real nostalgia feelings for. Other than, you know, Reach with Forge World and such. But the last game I really that really resonated for me in my childhood was 3. I think I spent more time on that game more than any of the other Halos. And, again, it was a big part of my life. And, you know, I definitely can speak for many other people when I say that, you know, a big part of me was molded by Master Chief 117. So I'm really excited to see this when it drops. Um, I don't, I forgot what the release date is. I know that it's spring 2022, but <sighs> wow, I'm really excited what they're going to bring. I wonder if we're going to see, you know, uh, elites. I wonder if we're going to be seeing the brutes. I wonder if we're obviously seeing the grunts. Um, I also wonder if we're going to be getting some, you know, voice actors from the games and everything reprising the roles for, you know, the monsters and maybe uh, getting John DiMaggio back for Brute Chieftain if he shows up. Uh, maybe we're going to get uh, the Arbiter, maybe? I don't know. There's just so many different possibilities. Or it can just be its own original story with some kind of lore thrown in there for some of the from some of the books or maybe some lore from the games. Who knows? But it's just really exciting for a gamer to be alive right now because we're getting some 
Master Chief content, some really straight, just solid Master Chief content. And I'm really excited how Pablo Schreiber is going to do, you know? Um, the last thing I knew him other than from Den of Thieves was Porn Stash from fucking Orange is the New Black, but, you know, he comes from a good acting family because leave is great but i really hope that you guys are looking as forward to this as i am and i really hope that you enjoyed this because this was just nostalgia and it really makes the kid in me sing um when in terms of my childhood and i hope that i get to relive the same moments throughout the show and i, I get to see a lot of those same things and i hope that they do the fans a lot of service because this is absolutely incredible so thank you guys so much again for checking out this video and i hope that you guys stick out for the, another one and if you guys want to be notified when another upload gets uploaded hit the notification bell but if you like this ultimately subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one take it easy